Okay, awesome stuff. Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to the International School of Traders. Uh, Tuesday Market Watch. Uh, guys, if you can hear me loud and clear, just drop it in the chat uh, so that we can just go straight into the market and see uh, what do we have in the market with you. So let me just see here in the comments. Now, this video is recorded for YouTube purposes. Uh, some of you guys will be seeing it again on YouTube later on uh, this afternoon. Uh, okay, let me just check on the comments. Uh, nice, cool stuff. Now, if you guys can feel me now and hear that's beautiful. Now, let's quickly go into the market, guys, and see what's really going on in the market. So, I'm going to start off with some news items that we are looking at today. Uh, I'm going to start off uh, with a uh, couple of news. I think the one that is very, very, very important today uh, is going to be, okay, where is this guy? Maybe. Okay, cool. So the one that's going to be very, very, very important, I believe, uh, today, let me just go back, um, is going to be, ob obviously, uh, this will be a speech at 2 o'clock. It may be important, but not too important, right? then we are going to be receiving some good uh, trade balance, good trade balance at half past two, and uh, wholesale inventories uh, at half past two South African time. Uh, retail uh, inventories also are coming up. Uh, we do have uh, the Chicago uh, Fed president speaking. Uh, that is going to slightly move the market, but not too much. The one that I'm actually looking at is the speech at four o'clock. A speech at four o'clock by the federal chair, uh, uh, federal chair, uh, that is Jerome Powell. He will be speaking at four o'clock. So I believe that at four o'clock, uh, come on. Okay, cool. So here is four o'clock, right? So at four o'clock, we are going to be receiving, we are going to be uh, receiving that speech from uh, uh, Jerome Powell, actually, not this one. And there is also consumer. Uh, confidence, right? Uh, why is this thing doing this to me? Okay, cool. So we do have uh, consumer confidence at four o'clock and then the speech later on, right? Speech from Federal Reserve uh, 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 Powell that is going to be speaking at four o'clock. That is Jerome Powell. He'll be testifying. Mostly in most cases when he speaks, the market moves. Why? He is the chairperson of the Federal Reserve. It's like uh, uh, getting the, uh, you know, the, uh, the chairperson of the Federal Reserve to testify or to speak. Uh, you know, when they speak, they speak about market, they speak about inflation, they speak about all of these things. And then uh, when they speak, markets do move. Okay, cool stuff. Now let us go into the market and show you what's going on or what is expected today in the market. Now, uh, some of you uh, were, uh, were able to see the video that I posted uh, regarding our weekly analysis, uh, which is good. Uh, there's a couple of things that I want us to look at, right? First of all, it's Euro USD. Took a buy in US, uh, Euro USD here uh, yesterday. Yes, uh, the, we, our entry was too early, uh, but also at the same time, uh, it, there's nothing that we should worry about here. Why? Uh, this, in this market, uh, we bought very low and the market didn't actually conform to our analysis. Meaning that market continued to make those lower lows and lower highs. That's on a one hour time frame. If you look on a four hour time frame, uh, market still is pushing towards the downside and possibly, possibly around this low right here. These guys, let us watch out on this low here. We are going to possibly buy this market. Now, remember that the, uh, the, uh, when we are trading, we are looking to buy low and sell high. And if you are buying this low, right, uh, uh, we are on the right side of things, according to me, but on the right side of things in terms of looking, uh, you know, uh, uh, to buy here because we are at the low. This is the low. Previously, it's a low now, 
uh, then uh, we are going to be targeting specific areas here, especially areas like this one, or maybe to be very, very specific, uh, an area which is more like this one, right? This is fit to determine those levels. And then we are going to see uh, what then the market has for us from there. Then we do have VST. Uh, this is just a This is a trade that I've been talking about. Uh, this is a trade that I spoke about. Uh, the analysis that there's a high chance, and there's a high chance that we might be looking to sell this kind of market, right? But uh, we wanted to see if market is going to create at least uh, or break these uh, some sort of higher highs and higher lows formation. According to me here on a four hour time frame, we haven't made a, a significant high, which is higher than the previous one, right? We haven't made a high, which is higher than the previous one. Uh, so in this particular case, you might look to sell. Uh, there's a uh, couple of things that you might also wanna see here. The one hour time frame, uh, one hour time frame, uh, looking at this market, guys, uh, it is slightly under the 61.8. So um, if we were able, we were going to take uh, this trade around this zone. So we haven't taken this trade uh, as yet. Uh, it's now. Looking at TBPSD, pound went down. I took a, a buy here yesterday around this zone and took my profits around that zone. Uh, it was a good, uh, good, good, good uh, trade. Uh, this is the trade that I discussed on the weekly analysis, right? So I wasn't looking for much, I was just, I was just looking for a couple of things on this one, right? Let us see. Uh, so also on this one, looking at how the market is positioning itself, guys, uh, we might see a very, very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful low uh, coming here. So, uh, I mean, uh, formed around this zone, then we might be even taking a trade there. So let me just see. Okay. Uh, somebody is writing here. Why are you guys writing? Let me just uh, say we. Okay, cool. So, um, so at the moment, the market is currently trending towards the downside, is pushing towards the downside. And if there is any sign of a buy, we are going to be taking that uh, buy, right? It is good to buy low and sell high. It is good to buy low and sell high. Uh, okay, cool. But also be very, very, very uh, you know, look out for things such as uh, opposing the market structure and direction and all those things when you are trading such. So um, uh, I was looking into yesterday JPY uh, in, uh, on, on Sunday, and I I was hoping for a retracement, but since that retracement did, didn't happen, there's nothing to worry about, guys. Still going to be just watching this trade and watch it up until I have a clear, clear direction in terms of where we're going. I do not just take a trade anyhow. I wait for uh, a direction. So let us look at this one. It's, this is a very beautiful impulsive move. There is an impulse here. So meaning whatever market is going to start changing its direction, it's going to be a very, very beautiful, uh, some sort of a, uh, a signal in terms of how the market or where the market is going this impasse that we have right here. Okay, cool stuff. And then we do have XAUUSD. Unfortunately, XAUUSD didn't uh, retrace all the way up to those zones, but it's cool. Uh, just flip out a little bit. For me, I'm not gonna be trading uh, XAUUSD, which is gold. I'm not gonna be trading unless I'm using the gold strategy. Uh, unless I'm using the gold strategy to kill the market here, but according to what's going on, um, I'm not going to be taking any trade here. Okay, cool. And then USDCAD, uh, USDCAD actually bouncing its support. Uh, who was I talking to? Was I talking to? 
I think I was talking on, on the live yesterday on TikTok. Um, okay, cool. So look at what's going on. This market. You know, my only problem with this market is that this high, this high is higher than the previous ones. This high is higher than the previous one. But this one is lower than the previous one. That's my only problem. Let's go to some other time frames. Okay, this is going to be a decider. Uh, market breaking out of structure here is going to, you know, market is going to push just the top side, but market failing to do that. Uh, we are going to be seeing a sell, significant sell here on the STK. So uh, watch out on this one. Uh, I am more of the sellers currently, but I do have in mind that we have a major support here in place. We, have a, we do have a major support here in place. So uh, let us see. Uh, Euro GBP, uh, Euro GBP is actually uh, let me just go to a for our time frame. Okay, cool. You know, when you see markets printing higher highs and higher lows, that's beautiful. But now you have to be worried when you see what? When you see this, which is not higher than the previous one, that's why you need to be worried. You'd be very vigilant now. And then uh, let's look at one hour time frame. Uh, I did talk about a sell here on, on, on a Sunday, 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 uh, some sort of uh, setups. Let us see how this market performs, maybe around this zone here. Uh, I'm going to see a sell. Uh, we are on the service we are going to see what is uh, so this bit. Okay, cool stuff. Now we are on the zone, we can see a cell coming. Let's see. This is Euro Euro GBP. So pay special attention on this one. Uh, special, special, special attention. And uh, just you know, input. Okay, my price is at zero point eight five uh, seven six zero. My stop loss is going to be zero point eight five uh, nine six zero. Then my take profit is obviously going to be at zero point zero point eight five uh, two four five <laughs> two four five. Then. Out a little bit, stop loss. In the middle. Okay, my stop loss is 27 pips. It is a very wide stop loss, but looking at my take profit, you know, looking at my reward here, is at 70 pips. So risking 27 for 70. That is good. Uh, let us look at um, Euro AD. Euro AD, I discussed this one. I believe on Sunday, Euro AD is, is also one of those. So this one is actually a perfect example. Why? Uh, we have lower lows and lower highs, right? Now, when markets reach this high, look for what? Look for sell orders. Okay, that's what you want to do. 
So uh, this is one of the levels, very crucially, very important levels. Um, it's been set right here. Okay, I don't want to be over investing in the euro, but uh, I'm going to take another seven minutes. Of so my entry is at 1.61280. My stop loss is going to be at 1.6148. Oh. Okay. Take profit is going to be at uh, one point uh, five nine. Uh, five, five nine. So this is. Uh, so my technique is going to be at zero point, actually one point uh, five nine, uh, five double nine. It's zero, five double nine, it's zero. I don't, I don't want to happen last to happen today, but you know, when you put it in the right place, you don't have to worry. My cat might go, my not go, it's good. It's not a bad thing. Okay, I do, I, I'll be teaching about that tonight. Um, Tonight on the International School of Traders, all of my students uh, will be talking about Fibonacci tonight, but continue with the subject of Fibonacci. Teaching that tonight. Okay, cool. And then keep to PI. I think I'm keep to PI. I think I'm more interested in keep to PI. Yes, these are. Uh, yes, these are. Uh, sorry, the list. Ah, too much, too much. It's 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 actually moving, really, really, really. Good. But I'm gonna wait for maybe a, a retracement or anything that's gonna happen here, and take some cells again. Uh, if you look at the daily time frame of this one. We are slightly above the 50 day moving average and we are below the 100 days. So I was looking to sell around the, uh, around this zone. Okay. Uh, I was looking to sell around this zone. So I've been monitoring uh, GPJPY for a while. You guys know what uh, my idea is there. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool stuff. Um, now, tonight I'll be having that, um, that's Denzel, so I hardly hear you. Everybody said they can hear me loud and clear. Uh, sorry, my brother. Okay, cool stuff. Now, tonight I'll be hosting the class with everybody at the International School of Traders, how to use Fubanachi once again. Uh, you know, uh, I'll, be, I'll be hosting that class. And tomorrow we are going to be continuing with Fibonacci and Fibonacci extensions. You know. And then next week, we are going to be having an online Forex conference, an online Forex conference from Monday to Wednesday, from Monday to Wednesday. It's Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Meaning that we are not going to be live on, on, on social media on Monday. We'll be having a live session uh from uh you know the beginners uh, kind of setup uh, so we are trying to have a lot of people understanding 
uh, especially International School of Traders. I've posted a poster on the group, on the group. So if you want to be part of it, uh, that's cool. And then number two, uh, our, okay, our lives on TikTok are very, very good, but TikTok is uh, not a good platform to go, to go live in terms of network and all of those things. My network is working perfectly fine. I'm using Fiverr, I've been checking speed and everything, but um, uh, you know, I, I need to change. Uh, I need to change. I need to change one of them. Maybe use Instagram as a platform to go live. So I'll be dropping my okay, my my Instagram handle is the same as TikTok. So it's a real underscore. I'll be using that platform on uh, on Thursday to go live. Uh, Mona Lisa, for this Thursday, yeah, we decided to okay. I've decided to use Instagram. I want to use Instagram, so I'll be uh, dropping my Instagram handle. Uh, it's coming Thursday. We're gonna be live on Instagram, right? So Monday, don't miss out on our uh, forex conference. We usually have these conferences, guys. So we usually have them at the International School of Traders. Uh, you don't just get a PDF to say, hey, go ahead and read this and come back and take on the signals, blah, 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 uh, all of that. Uh, here we talk real stuff. We talk about the market, market structure, how markets move, take you uh, from those levels. Okay, good stuff. I will see you on the other side of the withdrawals. If you are seeing this video uh, on YouTube, please do like and subscribe to this channel. I will see you guys on the other side of the withdrawals. It's your one and only. Shalom.